Hello you bashful beakers and welcome to another episode of Her First Time Hayden Plays Cuphead. Let's have a little chat with her Axie friend here. He's absolutely not in the mood to say does he? Fighting after seeing it over there, his blade fixed, blah blah blah. Yep, let's just dive straight into a boss today, why don't we? We'll just change our heart to a smoke bomb because it would be good to learn the boss's attack pattern. Like there's no point in having Lotus health to sponge it up. Kangy Kankation. The Floral Fury. See why he's angry. Wallop. Alright, let's get this done. The dance is a bit weird, isn't it? It's like a 12 or 13 year old at a teeny bopper disco in the early 2000s. You just know he's waiting for the killer's Mr. Brightside to come on. Ugh, this is just so much going on. Stop thinking about the killers and teenage discos. Dead. Well, that was dreadful. Don't shout at me like that. Okay, I don't... Oh, he's spreading his seed as well. There's a lot of people just spreading their seeds. Something that we were all trying to do at that age, I suppose. God damn it. I wasn't that big at that age. Right, I've just seen a tip, and what I'm going to try and do is change the controls so that I can put shoot from X up until one of the trigger buttons so I can constantly have on it so it's more like a continual flow of bullets and that whenever I need to jump that I'm not stopping to attack. Hopefully this makes it a little bit easier. It seems a bit more logical. I don't feel like playing Dark Souls again, having my attack buttons on the triggers. Or God of War. Every game should just have its attack button on the triggers, the shoulder buttons. Right, this seems about okay, doesn't it? Shoot, my experience shoot, blah blah blah. Cool. Let's get back to Kangni Carnation. What is... Car Carnations are like flowers that are all like given for pe the people you love, aren't they? It's like the symbolism behind it. What do you think this guy's story is then? His heart was broken. I'm not in, in love drives people to madness, doesn't it? That's why he's so angry. He's gone crazy from his heartbreak. <laughs> That's why he's dancing really badly at discos. What's up? Yeah. So let, let's try and unlock. Why? Why did he sell his soul to the devil? Had his heart broken. Fair enough. Went a bit nuts. Maybe so he could forget the memories of the person that broke his heart, so to so. Who knows? Fools who attempt to fight us will leave with lurch. That's just mean. He's a bit malicious, isn't he? Do you think he's kind of a vengeful little flower? He's torny. What's a torns? I think he's a spurned lover. That's, that's my two cents on the whole matter. Let's actually try and beat him, though, rather than working out why he's been such a D-I-C-K head. Well, that's easy enough to dodge, isn't it, the boomerang? It's really just about staying on the move. Use a shotgun to get up close, spray it in his face. Yes, that boomerang thingy is fairly telegraphed as well. All of his attacks are fairly telegraphed. It's more or less just when he does the seed spread and they're growing up out of the grounds and falling from the sky, it becomes a bit difficult. Hmm. I wonder what his last phase will be, though. Come on, come on. Is that hurting him when I'm down there? Even though I think he has to be attacking the head. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Right, we have a full power attack. Shh. I can't tell if that if that's the only part that's hurting him or not. It looks like that's the only time he's flashing. Oh, here we go. Look at that. Oh, completely new attacks. Ooh. Ah, no, that. Sure, sure, sure. Was that the right move? Was that the right move? Okay, just sometimes when you use your party, damn it. Oh, so close. It's a swell battle, you guys. Okay, we can do this. 
I believe in me, believe in nothing. I've become the hollow man now. I've become the hollow man, I see. You know, actually, I'm singing R.E.M., but what I've been listening to a lot the past few days is, is Grimes. That girl is damn cool and talented. I was on her Twitter and saw like that she's posting about that on her new album she's writing songs about fighting the Balrog in Middle Earth. Uh, that's a euphemism for some adult stuff. Uh, a new metal song about the Shadow of the Colossus. Uh, there's going to be a song about Dark Souls. It's like, this just sounds like it's going to be the greatest album I've ever recorded. Because I've been listening to her older stuff like Art Angels and I was like, whoa, these songs are banging. Like, really good. Don't know why I said banging. I'm not... Ugh. Please just ignore me when I talk. Just let's enjoy the game. Forget that I'm talking. I'm distracting myself more than anything. I think it is... Is it weird that I tend to relate more to female singers? Like, the past few years, all my favourite artists and bands have been like... Wolf Alice, St. Vincent, Sunflower Bean, now Grimes... Sky Ferreira. It's a long time since a bunch of lads really wowed me with their music. Okay. I'm doing okay. I have three health. <laughs> Speak of an ass, I'm sure to pass. Yeah! Oh, that looks terrifying. Blair witchy kind of eyes on him. Okay, I don't think I'm going to be getting that high of a grade. Okay, time is gold, health now. Parry, yes. Super, no. How do you get the super up? In mine, it's not bad. Once I'm in the A's, I'm happy enough. Cuphead! The last stairs unlocked. The sole contract for Carney, Carney Carnation has been received. Let's mosey on. Okay, I think there's that boat left down by the mausoleum, wasn't it? That's probably the last thing we have to do. Nope, not down by the mausoleum. That's where the crazy cannibalistic fish girl is. Must be down this way then by Mr. Money. Ah, yeah, there we go. Set sails and clip joint calamity. Ribian crooks. Oh, too big frog buys. I don't know what this is an homage to. I mean, this look, the, the background looks like any sort of gangstery kind of casino eating, doesn't it? But there are flies! So I'm gonna die. Stop looking at the background. Oh god. Fireflies! Ha! <laughs> Literal fireflies. La. God damn it. Oh, there's some odd since they've been tadpoles? Hmm. Let's change this up again. Yeah, dash, dash should be good to get around all that. Get ready to die. I can take out the fireflies fairly easily with the spread attack. I don't know, Anton, what frogs really are. F oh, um, wasn't there that, oh, really old, I'd say quote unquote lost cartoon, but it's on YouTube, so it's not particularly lost, of flip. The frog called Flying Fists. It's like where this kind of frog, Mickey, you know, like just kind of typical old 1900s cartoon character that was would have been a mascot if it had been as successful as Mickey Mouse. But it's like there's one of them where he's trying to become a boxer. It's got flying fists. I think there's a turtle in it as well. Maybe that's where they got the idea for this. Crude and bad because we're from the wrong side of the lily pad. These guys are just tugs, bloody tugs. It's creepy though, isn't it? Don't frogs eat flies? Why are they performing? No, I don't say perform. Oh, yeah. They seem to be having a great time watching them. You can see the little dancers in the background as well. What are they eating? I can't work out what they're eating. The flies. Probably just dung. Some of the slurry from the cabbage patch. Or the root pack, I should say. Not the cabbage patch. Why am I thinking of cabbage patch, kids? Okay. They're gonna Eiffel Tower me. Who's I saying about doing the whirlwind punches? Saw the little kind of sunflower guys in the first running gun level, wasn't it? 
He's literally doing it. This isn't too bad at all. You actually use the wind to your advantage to get around those orbs that he's throwing. Come on. Oh. Why does it look like he's going to... Oh, no. Oh, no. Ah! Okay, that's a bit odd, isn't it? I, I'm not too sure how a frog swallowing a frog makes a slot machine, but each to their own, I guess. Are they devil heads? No. Bulls. Riding rodeo, boys. This isn't too bad. Jo ah, damn it. You went from broke and now you're croaked. La la. I, I, is attacking him doing anything? It doesn't look like it's hurting them. Maybe there's a point only when... Ah, yeah. It's only when he's open like that. So you have to try and dodge the obstacles and attack. Damn. Yeah, yeah. It broke, croaked. It rhymes. Ha ha, you're so funny. What am I going to get this time? Snake. I'm a slippery snake. Oh god, this is actually quite a hard one. <laughs> I had so much health coming into this. Uh, parry. Oh god damn it, the snake again. Well, I'm not going to survive this. Yeah. Not even angry, because I knew. I knew! There's a reason they're associated with the devil. Oh, tiger now. Yes. This is actually my favorite one. See? Not even a little slap. You stay away from your coins. Yes, and again. Easy now. I don't get what... I think it's more so just the colors of the little cylindrical things that have to do with the animals that show up. Because I don't think the actual attacks are... Damn it. Oh, that was a waste. Easy riders and raging bulls. Come on. Duh. I'm sick, I'm tired, I feel it in my bones. Yes! That's for me, I win at slot machines. I actually do like slot machines. Even though my favorite of those games is like the one where you drop the coins in and you have to knock all the other coins off. For those of slots. Great stuff. B minus, yeah, I deserved that. It was fairly shocking. Whoop whoop. Another victory. The last bridge is unlocked. The soul contract for Ruby and Croaks has been got. So that is going to be the end for us today, I feel. We've got everything done in World 1 and we have World 2 unlocked. Excellent. So episode 4 will see us traveling into a whole new world. Thank you for joining me again, guys. This has been her first time. Hayden plays... Cuphead, obviously it's called for her first time because our main show is Lower Playing Dark Souls. Please like, subscribe and share this with everyone. It has been a blast. Goodbye.